Hi, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel, All My Plants. Today I have more plant chores. I have uh, some philodendrons that need to go on poles and need repotting, maybe potting together, uh, and some things I'm going to propagate. Um, I think Monstera syngonium pothos, or epicremnum, whichever you'd like to call it. And I know there was something else. Oh, it was uh, two syngoniums. So, yeah, four plants that I'm going to propagate. So, let's get it done. Okay, so today I'm going to attempt to um, repot and pull these, uh, these, this philodendron lime fiddle model dragon. There's two here. And then, can you see this one? Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be a pink princess. It's kind of pink ish. Um, I've got. There's three in that pot and one in another pot. I'm gonna put all those together on a pole. There's more around here, but they're just much smaller than these are. And I'm trying to keep similar size plants on the pole. They're gonna grow different anyway, but for now, <laughs> that's, that's the goal. So I'm gonna do that. My poles are here behind me. <clears throat> I don't fill them with moss when I make them. I put them in the pot fill the bottom part with bark or whatever potting soil then I um, I put in however much moss I need uh, and there's no reason for doing that really other than my preference for not having to wet an entire pole when I only need you know a, a portion of it um, wet it just makes it easier for me to move things around carry them around it's a little bit lighter a little less um, tedious I guess trying to water the pole for me because I just water with a hose or a sprayer or you know whatever I don't sometimes I top up with a squeezy bottle but I don't really um, pay attention to moss poles like I should <laughs> so but yeah we're gonna stick some on there I guess I should have got pots that these guys would fit into first huh I think I'm gonna do six inch for both yeah Okay, six inch keeps it nice and simple for me. I don't know what was in these before. Does it matter? Does it look heinous? They're definitely not clean. Oh, there's hair in there. Imagine that. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm doing that because I have cover pots that fit um, six inch nursery pots. I like the nursery pots because it keeps them light enough that if I want to pull them out and see if, you know, what's going on down at the bottom, I can kind of look. Um, I prefer clear pots, but I just don't have 500 clear pots, so here we are. Um, let's do, I guess we'll do the lime, lime fiddle slash model dragon first. It has great aerial roots, I'll show you. Let me get these out of the way. Maybe the cat won't eat them for five seconds. Yeah, they haven't been supported in the best way. This one hasn't been supported at all. It has tiny, tiny aerial roots on this one. This was the top cut. Um, I propagated it last year. It's not the most uh, limey of the fiddles that I've seen. I mean, it looks okay, I guess. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. I do like the leaf shape on this one. Um, you can kind of see it has some little aerial roots trying to do a thing. This one's been in the house um, for a few weeks now. I just forgot to put it back out after I brought it in. I'm not even sure why I brought it in. But then this one was the base. I cut it here, right in that area. And um, it's grown back quite a bit. Um, once again, not looking very limey, but that's why we cut it. Not that it helped, but either way, we have great aerial roots going on here. Can you see them? Yeah, and I think it's trying to flower or something there. I'm not sure, right there. I don't know what it's doing, but either way, it's going on a pole today. That's what it's doing today. Because uh, once again, it's not supported very well. <clears throat> All right, um, this is just my moss here. Just soggy sphagnum moss. I need something to put dirt in. Why am I never prepared? I always come in and sit down and I'm like, yes, let's go. And then I don't have anything to put random used soil in because I generally don't reuse it. Sometimes, sometimes, like I'm not afraid of it. There's nothing wrong with these plants. 
no pesty issues or anything like that. No, I, as far as I know, no root rot. I guess we're gonna find out. I need a bin. I didn't find a bin, but I found a tray complete with a little bit of bird seed. It's been under my bird cage and uh, random dirt. Apparently I was using this for something recently and never cleaned it. Way to go, Jen. Okay. Um, let's start with the one that's not on a support because that looks easier. Ooh, it's dry too. It's been in my laundry room and I haven't watered it in maybe a week and it's really hot in my laundry room. The temperature in my laundry room is pretty much equivalent to the temperature that's outside. If I have the dryer going, it's hotter. Um, and it's 93 today for now. That's been the high, the highest temperature so far today. It's 93. We still have some day to go. Wow, this is really hard to get out of here. It's not coming out the bottom. What's the issue? It's just probably stuck to the inside of the pot, huh? Let's keep wiggling. Oh yeah. Um, it may or may not fit in this pot, but I just went and got, and got to put it in. Um, it's got some, some great roots going on there. Yeah. Um, I might should have watered this also because it's really dry. It's alright, it's getting ready to get watered anyway. Wow, I really, I'm afraid to disturb this root ball because it's that dry. I'm afraid the roots are going to be brittle and just break. But I have to if it's going to go in a new pot because it's not going to fit like this. I guess I'll let you know how it goes. We'll check back in with it. See if I've made it very angry or only a little angry. I mean, I have full faith that this plant will reroot, <laughs> even if I break quite a few, but I'd rather not break them. But I am because this is dry. Like, can we hear how crusty this is? Oh, poor thing. Okay. Um, what do I do? Do I plunk it in a bowl of water and just uh, pull the mud off? Cause that's, there's not even any soil in there. There's just roots. Which side is the side that's gonna go against the pole on this side? It might be all right. It might be, we might lose a bottom leaf so that I can put it at a weird angle. Hmm. Okay. We'll come back to this guy. See if we're just going to leave it like that. Because I really don't want to tear that up. I'm going to lose a lot of those roots if I keep going. Like, I've, I've already ripped off uh, a little bit. And I'm sure I broke some just squeezing on it. Hmm. Okay. We'll be back. It's to be continued. Oh, okay. Just lay there then. That's fine. <clears throat> this guy I don't know oh yeah there is two pieces of velcro I was gonna say I don't know what this one little piece of velcro was doing like plant tape plant velcro whatever you call that um but yeah there was actually two save my little tag because I can never remember names I have to write everything down now some I remember and others they're just gone forever That's me and names in general. It's not just plants. People's names. I try to get better with names. I try. I really try hard to remember, but certain ones, they're just... They don't stick. I don't know why. Oh gosh, come out. Okay, so this one at least had a little bit of moisture in it. This one's been in the greenhouse. The roots look good. Once again, pretty, pretty densely compacted. Not as bad as the other, but there's plenty of them. Let's see, we'll fart around with these a little bit more while they were down into the drainage holes. Because these ones are moist. I don't feel so bad um, getting in here. <laughs> Not so bad. At least one of these guys has to be willing to um, move its roots to make room for the other, so. I guess it's going to be this one. And I've definitely ripped some because I smell the philodendron smell. <clears throat> I don't know how to describe it. I'd describe it as kind of astringent. You might describe it a, a different way. The philodendron smell. Oh, is that root rot? 
No, that's an actual healthy root. I thought I'd rip like the outer covering off of a root, but no, that's just the thinness of that particular root. It's like secondary or something like that. It's not one of the primary roots, so I guess it's thinner. Oh, I'm just determined to tear this one up. Speaking of tearing up plants, I have knocked my Jose Bono over. It's gotten a bit larger this year, but I've knocked it over and broken so many leaves off or ripped them. I'm, I've been saying, threatening, not saying I'm going to, but I've been threatening to propagate it for a while. I'm pretty sure at this point that I'm going to propagate it. <clears throat> I think I can do better with that plant. And it's looking a little tatty at this point, honestly. So is my, <clears throat> what is it, subhastatum? Subhastatum. So I'm thinking about propagating that as well. I might need a bigger pot, really. Because just this one will fill this up, right? Never mind getting a pole and another plant in there. I wonder if I have an 8-inch pot somewhere. <sighs> okay, hold that thought again. I don't love putting philodendron in terracotta, but that's what I can find. And I'm not sure what size it is, but it's slightly larger than that, and hopefully it won't fall over because it'll be bottom heavy instead of top heavy. So sometimes I wet my plants. <laughs> um, one of my friends made it for me for my birthday or Christmas, maybe. I don't know, but I think it's cute. So, and she did spray it, um, like, you know, seal it, um, basically so that the um, decal doesn't come off. So hopefully it'll help keep a little bit of moisture in. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had anything planted directly in here. I think I've used it as a cover pot previously. But these things, they dry like no one's business around here. So y'all cross your fingers for me. All right. Uh, I need soil. Dear Tay. You know, you know, ick yick. <clears throat> All right. Let's tag. Let's turn around that way so you can kind of see it. <laughs> Am I out of bark? Where's my bark? Only plant people lose plant soil additives. I've lost a whole bag of bark. I'm sure I cleaned one night after too many martinis and have no idea where I put it. Hmm. Hey, I found it. I'm so organized. Um, it was actually behind the container that I had my soil and amendments and stuff in over there. All right. Put you there for a minute. Come here, pole. You're going to stand nicely. Yes. Yes, you are. All right, so I'm just dropping this in through the top. I'm going to make a huge mess. It's fine. Everything's fine. It is what it is. I have a vacuum for that, right? Or a broom, or a Roomba, something's getting it. All right. So I didn't go all the way up to the top. I'm not gonna fill this pot all the way up to the top either, more than like. Um, but I don't know, can you see where the level is? It's like right there, just below where you can see probably. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna do this one first. No, nope. put a little soil in the bottom. Put some soil in the bottom. Mm. Okay. Which way are we facing? This way. I 
I'm going to put them both kind of towards the front but offside a little bit instead of directly center. I don't want to break the root. Did I kinkle it? That looks good. All right. I'm just going to kind of pin it in place um, so I don't have to hold it while I try to fart around with the other one. I don't know if you can see it, but I assure you, I will show you so that you have some idea what I'm talking about. You don't have to just take my word for it. I did kind of poke that um, one of the aerial roots in there and I will poke more in before I fill. Um, just because we want it to grab. <laughs> That's the hope. All right. You're going to be a problem. Sir, ma'am, whoever you are. Oh, I hear crunching. I don't love it. I'm going to pin it, pin it again because it's sticking way off. I've lost my roll. I have three rolls of this stuff somewhere. But no, I'm sitting here looking for pieces that might work. I mean, I'm finding them, but it's annoying. I just keep buying more rolls of it. I think I'm going to go to Lowe's later and see if I can't find yet another roll to purchase. Oh, please come through. There we go. Spins. Don't pop off. Don't pop off. Okay. Yes? Yeah, that suits me fine for now. Okay. Now, this guy. Can I just jam it in there? I know it's terribly lazy of me, but is that the way I wanted this to go? This, this way, right? Will you fit? Just smush you in. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, I broke that root. We knew we were going to lose some, though, right? And I guess we'll pin it right there. Velcro ball. Ow. I just poked myself in the eye with it. Okay. I want to try <laughs> um, putting some Hoyas on one of these, which I know probably sounds bonkers. It's not really how you typically cello Sahoya, I guess. But I don't know. I have seen it done. I just don't think it's the typical way most people choose to do it. Um, which that's fine. I just want to try it. All right, let's get some soil in this puppy. <clears throat> I think I just stepped on a pink princess down there. Oh. I forgot I put them there. Oh. I'm, this is so much chaos. I am so disorganized. I can only apologize and thank you for watching if you've stuck around this long. I'm overheated and scatterbrained. What is it? It's only 78 degrees in my house. I don't know what that is. Celsius. 20 some odd. 20 summit. But I'm, I'm warm. On top of my usual hot flashes. This is pretty intense for me. <laughs> fun fun I love summer no I do love summer because um, you know things grow I can put my plants outside for summer vacation at least the ones that don't mind the heat but yeah I don't know I'm hot I also love fall like some of my biggest plant chores come and fall. Wow, that is really crooked. It's because I didn't break up that root ball, huh? Just work with me. But yeah, some of my biggest plant chores come and fall because, you know, I'm bringing stuff back in and whether it has pests or not, it gets hosed and soaked and 
all that stuff. I don't use anything really harsh, and it's not like it's particularly hard, but it is a little bit time-consuming, you know? But I kind of like doing it, because I get to really look at each and every plant and, and be like, oh, look how much you've grown, you know? See how well they've done. Or, ooh, stink bug. Or, <laughs> or how well they have it done. My cat will be chewing on that in a minute. I guess I better go pick him up. Put him outside. <laughs> It's a knee-jerk reaction. I just flicked them off. Do you have stink bugs where you live? We have an abundance of them this year. An abundance. He was probably on the plant when I brought it in from outside. Oops. But yeah, certain years we have certain bugs more than others. I've seen it's invasive damselflies. I've seen them here. I've seen some green lacewing flies this year, which I believe are wonderful if you have plants you do want them around um i don't know i can't remember what all and lots of japanese beetles they're eating my snowball bushes currently and my grapevines but here we are i don't really go i don't drive myself crazy trying to uh murder them i know some folks do because they're really bad like um they do like my roses too but they seem to prefer other things in my yard more than my roses, so I don't know. <clears throat> well, I know most people aren't a fan. Okay, does that look ridiculous? <laughs> it's going to look better in time, right? <clears throat> just tell me it'll get right over time. All right, so the other side, I'm just going to leave that pin like I have it, but this, this taller one, I'm going to put another few strips on and then I guess we'll figure out that uh, philodendron princess I might just put one more on here can you go in there and not break nope one lower like I said I'm poking these existing aerial roots right into the pole and I'm not trying to keep it 100% straight it'll figure itself out it will grow up in time I just want it basically standing upright. And I'll be pretty happy. All right, should I pin this new growing point? Maybe loosely. I'll loosely pin it so that it knows where to go. Is that a thing? That's a really long piece of Velcro. Do I have any normal length pieces? This one's okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna loosely pull this one back towards it but not actually make contact because I don't want that growing point to like get roughed up until it figures itself out, or before it figures itself out. All right, so we gotta fill it up at least up to here with moss. So, um, maybe I could have filled this whole thing. I'm still not going to. <laughs> I'll just keep topping it up as necessary. Moss. And this is just your good old big box store variety of moss. It's wet. I've wet it with, um, the water had nutrients in it, also, um, mosquito bit tea, uh, cause I really hate fungus gnats, and it doesn't, the mosquito bits don't seem to do anything for the mosquitoes, <laughs> but I don't have fungus gnats. The only time I really see any is, like, when I'm bringing new plants in, like, in a new plant, um, but other than that, I swear it works, you just have to be consistent and keep up with it, like, don't water twice and think, oh, it's not working. Nope, water every time. Every time with mosquito bit tea. It works. Like I said, I just wished it worked for the mosquitoes in the greenhouse because they are eating me alive this year. Has anybody tried those? Is it called Thermacell or something like that? I see them at Lowe's and it's like supposed to keep mosquitoes away within 15 feet of this little device. I don't know. But if that's a thing, I would like one. Please tell me if you've used it and it, it works at all. I'm talking about in heavily mosquito populated areas like 80s Egypti is ruining my life this year. <laughs> really bad. Um, we haven't really had that particular kind of mosquito until recently. I need a pokey thing. Sorry, that wasn't the most descriptive I've ever been in my life. A pokey thing. I just need something to push the uh, moss down because it's gotten kind of bottlenecked up here by these roots and hung up. 
but I need it to move on. And this is also how it kind of compresses the same way. I'll just keep pushing it down and pushing it down and pushing it down as I add more. I'm sure this isn't the most interesting part of the process to watch. Sorry, maybe we'll speed it up a little bit. Just want to Those juicy roots make me want to cut some stuff up. Soon. So soon. <laughs> and now I have company. My dog is going to bark, and my birds are going to scream. We gotta be getting close, right? Alright, so I guess this guy's done. It looks really funny. <sighs> okay, so she's done. Winky. I'm just poking these roots back. Some of them are breaking. It's fine. We're really relying on the newer growth to root into the pole anyway, so. Alright, how heavy is that? Not too bad. She's chunky though. All right, next. Okay, so I'm kind of expecting these um, pink princess to be similar. All right. I'll do this one first because it's in a nursery pot. <clears throat> I think the other one... Oh, no, the other one's in a nursery pot, too. It's just tucked into the terracotta. It's using the terracotta as a cover pot. These are looking pretty, pretty sad. <laughs> they really could have gone on a pole a long time ago, but I just, I've never loved moss poles. I probably never will. I, like, I'm trying. I'm trying to like them and appreciate them. I appreciate what they do for the plant. I don't appreciate trying to maintain them. That's all. Well, it's actually not as rude as, a, as I thought it would have been after being in here so long. Probably because it never gets watered. <clears throat> Not bad. The roots look okay at least. Alright. You're not doing good. You're not doing good. We'll go with that. Alright, let me set that aside. I forgot I had my little um, windscreen thing for my camera down here. I just covered it in dirt. Looks like a dirty mouse. Alright, and then these four, they've been in here for probably a year. And, like, they're growing just very slow. And once again, I think it's just there's three in here competing for water and nutrients and whatever. 
Three. I literally just shoved them in here and then forgot that they existed for a while. <clears throat> but they have good roots. Dry, very dry. And these were in the greenhouse where they get watered every day. So for them to be that dry, like dusty dry, it's a little surprising to me. All right. Okay, crow. Get rid of this little bitty piece of bamboo. <clears throat> yeah, they really didn't have that much root considering how long they've been in there. That's bizarre to me. I guess it just goes to show they weren't doing great. Hopefully they'll do better now. Is that the only ugly guys? Yeah. How about you? Got one here. One here. All right. And you, it's got this one leaf at the bottom and then this long <laughs> space of nothing. I probably killed those at some point by not watering. Okay, let's find a pot. I think all four of these can go on a six cent, right? You're okay if you need to speak or walk or live. <laughs> What's that about? Huh? Ugh. Yeah, just get sleep. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, your fault. I didn't even hear anybody knock. I just, Winky instantly went off, so I went to look at the door, or at the window. I'm just trying to loosen these roots up a little bit more. Okay, what was I saying before the camera so rudely overheated? Um, yeah, I broke this up a bit so that I can get them all four, hopefully, in this same pot, because none of them have extreme rootage happening. I think I can poke them around that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think they'll be happier on that than they will on a bamboo stake. All right. Work. I think I got bark dust in my eye. And everywhere else, too. But I'm more worried about my eye. Smidge more. Lovely. All right. Soil. <clears throat> okay. Put my dirt back on my lap. Wow, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but this, I swear, every time I open it here lately, it smells like bleach. Like, faintly, we're not talking about, like, sniffing a bottle of Clorox, but, like, recently bleached laundry? I don't know. We're just gonna sprinkle a lid on the bottom here. That's good, that's good. Um, this is going to be fun. I need lots of Velcro. Let's move the dirt before I dump that in the floor. Like the genius I am. Okay. <clears throat> was that a bug? Spider? What was it? I saw it. You're not fooling me. All right. <clears throat> that Velcro is all down here where I can't see it or reach it. Okay, let's see where we get with that. Let's we'll start with this one. This was the single Pringle. Shall I leave that bend in the stem or should I try to straighten that? Hmm. I guess when I'm putting multiple plants on here, I will try to get it somewhat straighter, somewhat. 
We're not going to stress ourselves out about it. Plants will grow. They will make room for each other on this pole. I'm pretty sure. I like planting pots of multiples on poles. I know some other folks don't. Like, they really prefer just to have one vine going up. And I think that's very pretty and very elegant. But I want a bush. I want a shrub. <laughs> My goal is always, like, huge full pots. And... I don't know. I don't want to see the pole. Eventually. <laughs> Does that make sense? Alright, so... Urgh. Yo. I'm gonna break stuff. Well, maybe not. It is trying to run away. <clears throat> Alright, that's where I'm putting the next one. If I had one more hand, I'd be unstoppable. Like, two left hands would be great. Two left hands would be better than one. It actually does have some roots that still look viable down there, so we might get a root or two in the pole. Um, before we get them from the new growth. Boy, this is so pretty. <laughs> it'll look better, right? It'll it'll write itself. It will. That or we'll just really stuff it with moss and hope that it all just kind of blends in. Okay. Oh. Come back. Okay. That's the top part I don't know about. We might have to wait on that. Alright. Who's next? Dishman. At least these are kind of standing a little straighter where they were, um, had a stick in them. <laughs> Alright. A little. A little bit straighter. Alright, so I'm just gonna pin that one at the top. Yes? Yes. Why do I only have huge long pieces of this planty velcro? Oh, I, well, no, that's a long one too. Oh well. Um. Gotcha. Yeah, that's one in here. I mean, I don't have central air. I have window units, mostly in the rooms where I spend uh, more time. I don't really try to heat my kitchen or dining room because I cook in here, and uh, that causes it to get very warm as well. So, uh, might not be able to fit four on here. Hmm, okay. Well, which one of you looks better? Oh, I don't know, they're both lovely. Actually, they're skinny. They might go. <laughs> I really want them all in one pot instead of having 20 pots of philodendron pink princess, which I think I've said before isn't my favorite plant. I mean, it's a lovely plant. I just... The, the problems um, with this plant, the Cinderella foot thing. <clears throat> it used to be the, the thrips. <laughs> a real turnoff for me growing this plant. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it, really. Once you get past the Cinderella foot thing, which I think every one I have in the house, I have three others in here right now. They're all doing it currently, even with nine bajillion percent humidity. Uh, well, it says 53% indoors humidity and 76% outdoors. I don't know. Um, so, they still do it. They still do it. It's not my favorite. All right. I only have one more, right? It's going to fit. It's going to fit. It's going to look really weird. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. We're just going to roll with it. Which way are we going here? This way? Yes. I'm going to tuck it right in the middle of these two. Uh, all right. 
I'm seeding this one deeper in the pot because this is the one that had a long bare stem for some reason. Okay, and there, right? Yes. Um, so maybe we'll get some roots from that bare stem down there. I mean, I'm not holding my breath, but it could happen. It could happen. Hopefully these will be happier. They were also in very chunky soil when I first potted them, like extra chunky and like LECA, bark, all the things were in there. And I see some LECA and a little bit of bark, but not as much as I would have thought. Okay, let's uh, get these these roots covered up because they're dry and crusty and sticking out everywhere. All right. Look out, kitty. You can't sit on that. Move. All right. <clears throat> My hair is sticking to me. Winky. <laughs> just noticing my pole isn't very round I usually like squish them and roll them around a bit I don't know if I forgot to do this one or what it's gonna be fine it's round enough it's round-ish <laughs> so what do you think is this gonna be a terrible thing that I've done here are they just going to dry out the pole even faster once they do attach to it? Which, it's funny, most of my plants did not attach to poles anytime recently. It's the ones that are attached are newly attached. Like uh, my Tripartitum, Jose Bono, um, Painted Lady. Monstera, Salta Pecana. That one got the memo quick. Um, it was just like, yep, thanks. It's been happy to have the pole. I had to add more moss to its pole the other day, actually. Not complaining. I'm fine with adding more moss. Why can I not get my hand in here? Maybe if I try to put it in there, we go. And some of this dirt will probably slip, dirt, soil, <laughs> will probably slip into this moss pole um, where it's just filled with bark. So there's lots of gaps and crevices in there. So I might have to come back and top these up with a little bit more of my potting mix. All right, now let's stuff another pole. Stuff a pole. I swear this is the most tedious part, but I don't, I just don't want to fill the moss bowl when I make it. I don't know why. <laughs> I do know why. It's just, it's a lot of moss, number one. So I'll make a whole moss bowl for a plant that big and then I'll realize I don't have moss for another plant that, you know, really needs it or something. So I don't know. I'm stingy with my moss, apparently. Stingy with it. That and I can't buy it in the town where I live. I can't buy it in the next town over or the next town over or the next town over. I have to go, I have to go a ways. I have to drive to a different county um, to get it. So either that or order it online, but I don't know. I don't order a whole lot of like planty things online. I have before I've ordered plants before obviously I order a ton of plants online 
but um, as far as like soil and stuff like that, I, I prefer not to order it. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's not like it's gonna die in the mail. All right, I think we're gonna go a little bit higher because it's like right here and this is the top leaf. So the next one that pops out will be off the top again on that cutting and possibly on this one or this cutting, this plant and possibly this one as well. So a little bit more, Paquito Moss. I make a huge mess. I am the goat when it comes to a mess. For real, for real. <laughs> All right, I think I might be happy with it there. Pack it down a bit. That'll work for now, I think. I don't know, it's a hot mess, right? Can you see the whole plant? Here we go. Ooh, lovely. I mean, it's not that lovely, but it'll get that way. I might actually pin some of these back again, just so that they're not so floppy looking down there. Does it matter? I don't know that it matters. Let's see if that uh, leaf actually opens. <laughs> we'll see. It doesn't look damaged yet, so yay for that. All right, I'm gonna water this guy in, pardon my prescription medications. I'm gonna water this guy in and we'll get it back out in the greenhouse with its friend. Because they're so cute and I think they like it better out there than they do in here, even though it's almost as warm. Hello and welcome back to another staggeringly fascinating episode of Plants on Poles. I'm just kidding. It's the next day. Uh, but I am going to put one more plant on a pole. It's philodendron melanochrysum. No, this is splendid, right? Yeah, it's splendid. So I guess it's a cross of melanochrysum and what? Varicosum? Is that right? This sounds right to me. But yeah, I've had this one a little while and it's just starting to like lean and crawl out of this uh, nursery pot that it's still in. <laughs> no roots coming out the bottom. Do I see any down there? No, I don't even see any. Um, but anyway, I think it had pretty good roots when I potted it up, if I can remember, if I recall properly, correctly. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna slap it on a pole and throw it outside for what's left of the summer. I feel like it's already almost over. I kind of can't wait. I was looking at this and I was thinking, man, I can't wait for <laughs> for Halloween. It's not really Halloween fall. I, I like Halloween too, I guess, but yeah. So I'm gonna put you down here so you can see and we're gonna slap this on a pole real quick. As usual, I forgot to bring my stuff in here when I hit the record button, so I had to go get it. Okay, now I'm gonna put you down here. Okay. I think I have, what is this? Another, I guess it's a six inch-ish pot. I figure between the pole and the plant, um, maybe that'll be enough room. But yeah, we're gonna check out the roots on this guy first. See what's going on in there. Oh, it's definitely in the pot. So once again, I feel like if I pull it, I'm gonna rip roots. Ooh, it's dry. I don't love that. <clears throat> the roots look okay though. They look okay. No wonder it's dry, it's so chunky. All right, I'm not gonna disrupt that any more than that. But yeah, I think between the the pole and the plant, maybe we're on the ball. <clears throat> oh, I'm making a mess. You can't stop me. Can't stop, won't stop. All right. Oh, I forgot the bark, of course. I'm telling you, I always forget stuff. Even when I'm not repotting on camera, I'm still forgetting stuff all the time, constantly. All right, right in that neighborhood. This is where it gets messy. Messier, I guess it was already messy, wasn't it? My birds are behind the camera looking at me like I'm crazy. I am. 
It's fine. All right, that's enough bark. Please don't fall for a minute. Just hang tight. No, no, no. Leaning Tower of Pisa. I think it's because my pole is slightly crooked. Like the way I zip tied it together. It's a little off kilter. <clears throat> All right. Don't fall. I really don't trust it. Phew. Still smells like bleach to me. And I have not bleached this tote or, or anything. I don't know why it would have that. Like, when I say bleach, I mean definitely a chlorine type smell. What the heck? It's so weird. All right. Which way are you going to have to sit this way? Um... Yeah, this way. <clears throat> Telling you one more hand and I would be absolutely unstoppable. A little deeper. All right. Why are they all nine miles long? Don't fall, stay. I don't know what I was attaching with pieces this long, like... <laughs> not plants on poles, apparently. Probably on planks. I don't think I have any on wood anymore, and some of them did attach good, but the... Once again, it was just so top-heavy. This here will be too, but at least I can maybe put this in a cover pot and kind of keep it under control. Sorry, as usual, I forgot to silence my phone. I'm just going to attach this one right here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My... What is it? It's Sunday right now while I'm recording this. So yesterday was Saturday when I started recording. Um, my young people, the two who live with me, have been gone all weekend. It was like one of their friend's birthdays, so they went to the mountains in Pennsylvania. And um, they're coming back today. So it's been weirdly quiet. And don't get me wrong, I've appreciated the quiet, but at the same time, I love my young people, and sometimes it's too quiet. I don't know. But yeah, they're coming back sometime today. They're in Jim Thorpe or something right now, I think, walking around. They went white water, white water rafting. And things. I'm kind of jealous. I don't know. I don't think I want to go white water rafting. I don't know. I don't need to push my luck. I've got bad luck. Maybe I just think I do. I don't know. Like, the, the worst possibilities that I can imagine, that's usually how it goes for me. So, I am supposed to go to Florida, like, um, well, it's south of Orlando, but it's north of Miami, <laughs> somewhere in the middle there. Um, and it's on the Atlantic coast side, not, not Gulf side. But I was supposed to go, I am still supposed to go sometime next month, and I don't... I don't know, like, don't tell my husband, but I don't want to go to Florida. <laughs> I would rather go somewhere else. Um, for him, it would be business plat, uh, plus vacation. Why are cats always jumping up here? Um, business plus vacation, but I, you know, and I, I really don't care. He can do business anytime he wants. But uh, Florida, it's, you know, I'm thinking Florida in August. <laughs> is what's turning me off about it. I'm from Florida, so um, it doesn't really hold the fascination for me that it does for somebody who maybe hasn't spent much time there. I don't dislike Florida. I have family there still, but um, <laughs> not in the part that we were talking about visiting, and I don't know. It's just not my my ideal vacation spot when it's 9,000 degrees outside where we live. And that's about the only time it's like Florida here is in the summer, but I don't know. I don't know. I want to go somewhere else, maybe, but I don't know where else. Um, we went to uh, Salem last year, 
like up that area, which no, that wasn't last year. Where did we go last year? I don't know. We, we always go somewhere. We usually go um, somewhere pretty local in, in February and then um, we'll go a little further, which also Florida is a very long drive from here. Um, you know, we'd spend one day just driving down between driving down and driving back round trip. It would take a full day over over 24 hours um, in, in a car. And we usually only take three or four days. So, you know, I don't want to spend all my time driving either. I could fly, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? I feel like I'm always trying to figure out, figure something out um, around vacation time. So I don't know. Do you think that looks okay? It looks a little funny. It'll 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 be better. Trust me. We'll check in on it on a month in a month or two, and you won't even know that uh, it was recently stuck on a pole because it'll look so much better than this. <laughs> All right, let's get some moss in that guy. It's crooked. Maybe I can get that straight when I water it in. I'm just going to fill it to above the leaves again. Hey, y'all like my ceiling. I told you I had low ceilings. Can you see? Like they're, I'm not terribly tall, but they're low ceilings. So <clears throat> it just means it's hot in here all the time. In the winter, I guess it's nice. Now we're gonna poke it in place and see how we go. Poke it down, poke it down. I always seem to really underestimate the amount it's gonna take to get to where I, where I want it to be because once it's packed, it's like, you know, it's different. It's different once it's packed down. Compressed a little bit. I don't suppose I can compress it much with a little stick, but I don't need it like a brick. <laughs> I just need it in there so that it makes pretty good contact with the nodes and any potential or actual aerial roots, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I guess I didn't do so bad that time as far as guesstimating how much moss I needed. I'm gonna give this guy a water and slap it in the greenhouse. And I guess after that, maybe I'll chop up some plants. Yeah, it's time to propagate. Okay, four cappuccinos later. I have four plants here and I think I'm propagating them all on water. Nothing fancy or exciting, but it works. Um, it's effective and it's easy. I've got um, uh, Who are you? One minute. I've got Syngonium Winlandii. Um, there's nothing wrong with the plant. Um, it's just kind of leggy. It's coming out the bottom of the pot. It needs to be repotted, but meanwhile, we're gonna propagate it because it's it's still only 
I think it's a, a handful of vines all coming from one chunk down in there, if I recall. Can't remember. But yeah, so I'm going to propagate that. It's looking a little gnarly, but you know, just um, in hopes of having a nicer looking plant come uh, fall slash winter. Some of it's yellowing. It's fine. That's what plants do eventually, especially when they're neglected. I don't think this one loves the AC because some of it's staying curled up now. Um, since I've had ACs running kind of all the time. But um, yeah, I have Monstera Deliciosa aria, it says, um, which that's a pretty plant. I don't know if we're focusing at all. Um, this one has been recently propagated. There's been a top cut that had two or three leaves taken from it. And I've got another one in my living room um, that's rooted and growing. And this one, it's, since it's been cut, it's already put out a, a, you know, a ridiculous little leaf. Let me see if I can get closer. Quit crying at me, cat. <laughs> oh, which it has some variegation. It is newer, so it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if you can tell at all. But um, yeah, this plant has been pretty reliably um, variegated, this particular one. <clears throat> If you've seen some of my Monstera tours or greenhouse tours, you've seen my large one. My large, it's two in there. But yeah, we're going to propagate that because it does have um, a little aerial root. And hair! Why is it that? I don't know who loses hair like that around here. If it's me, I shouldn't have any left. Um, maybe I don't have much. Um, can we see this guy? This guy here, he's just gotten um, some bare stem. And it's just not the most attractive thing. This is... What is it? Epipremnum? Is it Arium? I'm not sure. Epipremnum, but it's uh, Marble Queen or Snow Queen. It's the very white variety. Um, more white than green. We're actually getting some chunks of green now. It was just green, like sneeze variegation. It looks like somebody sneezed at it. Um, but yeah, so that just needs to be propagated because it has uh, whiteness. And, I mean, they did have leaves, it's just this time it's gone on and I've not watered it or whatever. And then this guy here, <laughs> Syngonium erythrophyllum, Yano Cardi Road, or whatever it may be, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's the, it's the dark Syngonium with the very uh, red or burgundy backs. But it's lovely, it's just, uh, once again, it's kind of sparse on the top and it's all coming from one little growth point. And we just want to fluff out this pot a little bit. And it does have some little nubbins that look still pretty fresh on these vines. So I'm hoping that we can uh, get that going. Sorry if I sound different, I don't have my uh, external mic plugged in. Because I was moving around and I forgot. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna start chopping. And then for putting them in, I've got this, I think my daughter bought a Marble Queen Pothos, the youngest girl, for her uh, gecko. And I, I'm guessing it came in this, because I saw them in Homey Depot with um, like little vines in them. I think they had an ad in Sony Eye and stuff like that in the local Home Depot. So can I figure this out? Is this rocket science? I think I can do it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to put it in there and water prop it. I'm not going to cut it up into individual nodes. I'm just going to cut the, the long pieces off and put, you know, cut some of the length off and then just stuff them right in water. And then I've got, oh, this one has a cricket in it. That may have escaped from, oh, it's alive, from the youngest girl's uh, frogs. She has White's tree frogs and um, she feeds them live crickets and he somehow got stuck in here. But anyway, that and an old Cheeseboro Manufacturing Company. I think this was Vaseline once upon a time um, in this little bottle. It's vintage. I don't know. It's probably from the 40s, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so just water and then this thing, propagation station. It's, it is grungy. I, it's served its time here. Um, and I have a hard time scrubbing down, even with a bottle brush, getting down on those little tubes. But anyway, that's what we're doing. And I guess we're going to start with a Syngonium. <clears throat> it has two, like, newer growths over here from, I guess, the last time I cut it. Do I cut this whole leggy thing off? Oof. 
because they look rough. They're just, they're naked, let's say. Yeah, part, a good part of the vine there is just naked. Let me get rid of that. And I'm trying to find a way to cut it so that it'll actually be more upright instead of upside down, like the way it's growing now. Maybe we'll cut that there. And these are just going to dry for a little while. Um, I'm not really going to let them callus over or anything, just kind of dry. Uh, I don't want them to extremely dry out because this is already a dry plant. Yeah, I'm going to cut that one back too. It's going to look ridiculous, but I'll put it out in the greenhouse and it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll grow back or it won't. So that's the other cutting and there's all the stem. That was just hanging out. Oh, I see growth points though. Maybe I'll throw the naked nodes in a prop box. Will I? Yeah, that one has a little growth point too. Oh, well, there's not too bad. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this leaf though. And there's a growth point under there. All right. And one more on this guy. Can you even see what I'm doing? This one was weird. All right. <clears throat> so it has like nakedness in the middle there. Let me see. I don't know if you can see, but it's it's very weird. Um, so I'm gonna cut that. There's growth point under there. It was ready to grow. It just never, probably never took good enough care of it. It just sits in my living room, which I never go in this living room. I don't hang out in the living room. I don't know why they call it a living room because I don't be living in there. But yeah, that's ridiculous looking, but that's what we're doing. I think that might be all I'm gonna cut off that guy until he gets a repot and then we'll see if anything's sprouted. But for now, I'm just gonna throw that right in the greenhouse just as it is, even with the dangly roots coming out the bottom. Yup. All right, one down, three to go. Phew, I keep forgetting I don't have a mic on. I might have to speak up so that you can actually hear me. <clears throat> Maybe I can adjust it if need be. I have fans and air, like there's an air conditioner running right there. That's a bathroom. <laughs> it's a mess, but that's a bathroom with an AC in it because I can't fit one in any window in this section of the house. Old houses are fun. Oh, can you see what I'm doing? This Monstera, I guess you can kind of see. I'm just gonna cut right below this uh, nubbin here. It's been supported by a skewer. Ugh for a while now. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna go and water the root. Do I have something wet enough? I actually, uh, if you saw, was it my last video? I'm not sure. The one where I hauled the Florida Beauty cutting, that's actually starting to do a little something, the root end. Um, I might just stick it right in the same cup with that. Same thing, I'm just gonna let it dry for a little bit while I'm playing with this. Do I want to do another cutting? No, because I actually think it'll sprout faster if I leave it attached to the base, and then I probably will come back and uh, make this a cutting as well. I just don't like the way it looks now that I've cut the top off of it with this weird little <laughs> leaf growing. Like, that's as new as leaf as that thing. Um, it's got another one coming already, though. Well, it did. It might not now that I've chopped it. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, um... I don't like the way they look, um, the, like the butt cut when it's growing back. I don't know. I would prefer to just chop the whole thing up and start over. <laughs> All right, we'll put this guy somewhere. Oh, I'm very thirsty. I'm wondering if I shouldn't go for a fourth cappuccino. Probably not. I'm already like me. Um, it's trash. All right, this guy here, we're gonna give it a haircut. I'm going to do three leaves on this one. Do a couple single node. I'm just trimming them so that they are, um, the stem that's attached to the petiole there isn't so long. But they're pretty. Um, 
also aware that I'm not really showing you what I'm doing. I'm just cutting at the nodes at this point. Another single leaf cutting here. Hopefully this doesn't break me out because I see it has that white sap. I might should have got some gloves. <laughs> then rub it on my face. Alright. And I'll do four leaves on this one. And then a couple more single node cuttings, right? Yeah. That seems reasonable. I'm leaving enough room for a growth point and just trimming this stem down. Because I don't want so much stem. Alright, those guys are all gonna go in water. I'm gonna end up with two, three, four, five, six cuttings, it looks like. Jeez, I have a pile here. I'll show you my pile in just a moment. So yeah, that's how that guy's gonna rock it for now. Oh, look at that one. That would be a nice cutting. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. All right, I'll put him back over here for the second. He lives in a window sill over that way. He, she, it. And then this guy here, I'm not even gonna move him. I'm just gonna pick him up and cut him way back. All the way to the pot, apparently, because I don't see any leaves all the way back that far. So that's that guy. I am going to cut all of this off and I'll just leave a couple um, nodes that I'll be sticking in the water. But I'm not going to do single node cuttings. Same thing with this one. Okay, <clears throat> okay my battery died. Um, <laughs> imagine that. This is the third one I've been through in 24 hours. Um, I don't record that much. This one here has only got two leaves, but look at all this. I think when my friend was here, she cut this too, did the same thing. She just cut off a long leg of it. <clears throat> that. This was grown from two, um, was it two or one? I don't know, the little four inch, the three and a half inch, whatever they are, starter pots. So it filled out nice and it was um, binding very well, but I keep cutting those uh, legs off. There's a whole dead stem in here. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'll cut it eventually. But it's a lovely plant, humble opinion. I never ever talk about like my hanging plants, but I do love them. I do love them. Just my regular old pothos, green heartly philodendron, lichen, sebu blue, which I've got two sebu blue that really need sorting. Um, God, that's heavy. It's not even watered yet. It needs water. Um, but yeah, they really need sorting out because uh, I've neglected them quite a bit. I mean, they're nice long plants, but they're not as full. Some of them are kind of sparse on top. Some of them have like some leggy places, kind of like this, I believe. I don't know, one's in there and one's in there, but we'll sort that out another day. So, all right, I'm just going to cut, maybe I will, like, because of the way they're pointing, maybe I will do these two in single nodes. I shall. There we go. I'm not going to propagate this. I'm not. I'm just going to stick them right in this thing here. Can you see it at all? Barely. You can kind of see the tops of it. Sorry, man, this phone. Those are going to go in there. And I think the rest are going to go in this thing. This thing. Sorry, I'm not even showing you what thing I'm talking about. If I can figure out how to get it together. Oh my god, okay. There had to be an easier way. Was there an easier way to get that in there? It was two halves of a quart. All right. Let's see. Oh, this has been cut before. Can you see how that's growing there? Where it's been cut here, and then it put out this shoot, and also this shoot. Do I free them? I free them. All right. I'm just going to give it some of the node, too. So that's where one was cut. 
It'll be cute-ish, maybe. I'm gonna take off some of the bottom leaves though, so that it can reach the water. But I just threw that in the floor. I did. <laughs> Oops. All right, there's one. Cut this a little bit shorter on this end. And then that's the other one. Isn't it pretty though? So pretty. All right, a couple bottom leaves go. Oh, no, I pulled the whole thing off. Uh, all right. So I guess this is going to go on with the single leaf cuttings because I don't think it's going to reach the water otherwise. All right. It's fine. It's okay. This guy. I'll leave him a little bit more nodes so we can reach better. So I've left three that aren't growing anything. Yeah. Three that aren't growing anything in hopes that we'll get some roots and it can easily reach the water in this guy. Which hopefully between the two of them they'll hold themselves in and maybe right themselves a little bit because that's a hot mess. That is not uh, a lovely thing there. A lovely situation. I don't think this one's going to touch the water. The way it's curling. Maybe if I jam it in there. <laughs> Just jam it in there, you know. Sometimes you have to use that technique. It works. I swear. I swear by it. All right. So um, I'm gonna set him aside to fill him up with water. And then, and then, and then, and then, this guy is gonna go in with the. Yeah, it's fairly dry already. I don't know if you can see. Fairly dry. Um, it's gonna go in with the Florida Beauty cutting. Until um, we get at least a little bit of root. I don't need much um, before I feel comfortable planting them. And then these guys here, the erythroph erythrophyllum. We're going to do them right in this guy too. I do like this thing, even though it's always filthy no matter how much I clean it now. I don't have great water. This one here, I'm going to tuck him right in there too. Just get it down there. No. I'm going to put him in that Cheeseboro Manufacturing Company jar. That one in there. That one's really pretty. It's nice. And this one is the one, one of the ones that wants to grow kind of upside down-ish. This isn't that, that's a, a riot. <laughs> Kind of looks ridiculous. It's fine. I'm telling you, it'll be fine. Everything's fine. Oh, I missed the leaf. Single leaf. It's just the only one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna go in there too. And maybe. Maybe if I pull them all up to the same height instead of trying to jam past it. This is one of those, these are those vessels, you can't even see me down here fidgeting with it, that once you pull the cutting out, it's never going back in if it has roots. It's just, it's impossible. You have to go ahead and pot it. And this is kind of the same way. Um, I think I wanted to put him in here. Because that's cute. He sits real low in there, though, doesn't he? I don't think it matters. Maybe I'll put one of these in here with it to keep him company. There we go. Why not put them all in there? Is that just going to encourage this to grow even more upside down than it already is? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. That's cute. All right. So now I guess I'm filling things up. Oh, I still have this guy. Where do I put him? In Maya. That's what my husband would tell me. <laughs> all right. I don't know. I'll burn that bridge in a minute. This is just um, water with a little bit of, uh, comes in a brown bottle. Why can't I think of names? Names are hard. Super Thrive? Super Thrive. Um, and Mosquito Bit Tea, because these things also will have fungus gnats flying around them. So yeah, it's not the clearest water, but you know what? It works. It works. All right, and I'm going to set them it is a window sill, but it's not a particularly hot window sill. 
and uh, it doesn't get much direct sun. I mean, it gets some, like, dappled direct sun. Does that make sense? Is that a thing? <laughs> That's what it gets. Um, I'm running out of room to put things down. Okay, right there. Same thing with these guys. I'm just going to fill them up with the same kind of water. Oh, that one had a fly in it. I need more juice. Okay, now I'm ready for action again. I don't know why I insist on using this little squeezy bottle to fill these up. It's much more practical for just topping them up, but whatever. We're here. One of these is sticking way up. Oh, it's the cutting. The multiple leaved cutting that I broke. Here we go. A little bit more for you, sir. Alright, so I suppose that'll do the trick. That's looking a little funky. <laughs> a little weird. We're gonna grow roots. The wonderful things are gonna happen though. Alright, so I still need water for, was it this guy? This guy. Did I have anybody else? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh yeah, the monster cutting. I can't forget him. Um, the way that is, like that's how it will have to go in a vessel to have the roots make contact with anything. I'm kind of tempted to stuff it in moss and see how it does. Because then at least I can do it this way, like in a wider cup. Should we do that? Let's do that. Then we can compare and see which one rooted faster. Alright, I got my handy dandy clear cup. Set it there for a minute. Okay. Look at that, I still have my moss handy. That'll never happen again. I'm just going to plunk him right down in there. I think every node is going to end up rooting because I'm really, I really jammed him down in there <laughs> with a fair amount of moss. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Like, I don't know, can you see? But yeah, I've got it fairly well covered. You can kind of see the end there, or how it's sitting. It's sitting this this way. <laughs> I am great at descriptions, aren't I? That's so pretty, though. Oh, there we go. It's gorgeous. That, that leaf might not be, but it's fine. It did its job. It was there doing the work. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And then I'm just going to plunk this in the cup with the Florida Beauty cutting. Cool. Oh, might help if I put some water in this guy. I don't think it'll root real well like that. Out of something. <clears throat> okay, so this guy is going in the window sill. Window sill, the same place where that plant lives. This one's going in the cabinet that I have in my handy dandy laundry room workspace. This will probably go back in that living room. This will go with it. And then this will go in the handy dandy laundry room in the cup with the Florida Beauty. So that's where everybody's going to live. Um, and hopefully it'll root quick because I'm ready. I'm ready to plan. Alright, so that was chaos. 
I, I'm glad I got those plants on poles, though. I think I have 27 currently um, plants on poles. Uh, philodendron, Monstera, Syngonium. I can't remember. I think those are all the types, though. But I'm, I want to try, I think I mentioned it, that I want to try to get uh, some Hoya on a similar situation. Um, just to see how they do. Just curiosity makes me want to do it. So, um, I don't see a lot of people putting them on, like, moss poles. I see them trellised a lot, but I, I kind of want to do something similar, but with a moss pole, just up the center. <laughs> uh, especially for some of the ones that just really have been growing like crazy, which I have really big, um, Pubicalyx, I have a really big Macrophyllum. No, not Macrophyllum, what is it called? It's called Latifolia now. It was Hoya, I think it might have been Hoya Macrophylla or something, Alba Marginata. But anyway, um, I have a lot of, that are very big on their trellises at this point, and you know, the little bitty trellises, they're not really sparking joy for me anymore so much. The plants are, but just their situation is not. Um, that, and I have some that are growing off the trellises and up through shelves that are above, so um, they might be floor plants in the near future. <clears throat> so a, a moss pole doesn't seem like a crazy idea to me. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. That's to be determined. <laughs> that might be it. That might be all I have to say for, for now. But yeah, come back and check me out again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.